Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Big Friday in FIFA 23 today with the World Cup Phenoms dropping today in FIFA 23. Apologies if I sound a little bit under the weather. You guys know um, I have been fighting something recently. So hopefully I'm going to get through this just fine and we'll see about a stream today. But I wanted to bring you guys a short video today because this is a big promo Friday with a lot of action. I really feel like EA is going to drop a big W today. We already have seen the leaks. We're going to talk about those a bit more. It just seems like a pretty hype day. Now, there's World Cup games that are going on as well. And if EA doesn't drop a ton of hype content, could that, of course, being the World Cup games, a lot of hype since it's the quarterfinals, pull people away from the game? And could that affect the market? We'll speak about that. But we've got new cards coming in packs today, new icons in packs today, and a very interesting SPC fodder part of the market to watch today, too, with that icon SPC being refreshed. Today on Friday, not yesterday on Thursday. So there's a lot to talk about today. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I know a lot of you guys have seen the leaks, but just quickly, I want to go through. There are 16 total leaked cards in the World Cup Phenoms promo. A couple of them on the loading screen. We've seen the Bellingham. We've seen the Militao. We have seen the Rodrigo, right? These are all leaks that we've seen and talked about on the channel. Pedri, uh, Kunde, right? Big, big double center back combo coming there with Kunde and Militao. Kamavinga is a big one. Uh, Lautaro Martinez, Jonathan David is our objective for today. Hakimi, this is going to be, I think, one of the most meta cards in this promo. If those stats are anywhere near cor correct, that's an insane card. Uh, you've got our SBC potentially for today from Pong. You've got Lissandro Martinez, so Lautaro and Lissandro Martinez. That's another Prem center back, and I think that's going to be a Cordoba-type card that will actually be pretty OP in game. I think people are going to be really interested to try out Lissandro Martinez in this FIFA Um Again, like I said, kind of a Cordoba type card, being a little bit shorter, but faster. So we'll see how that card looks today. Sokka, we thought Sokka and Bellingham might not be in the same promo, but they are. Big leak there. I mean, guys, you look at all these names and you see the hype, right? Genduzi, we thought Rabiot was a good looking card. Again, Doozy might be coming into the game today to challenge his role as like the best French center mid in the game. So that's a really crazy card as well. Of course, people remember the winter wild cards, Genduzi. Tielemans as another prime midfielder. Then we've got a Kubo with a lot of pace. We've got Dan James with even more pace. And then I believe our last leak here is Damsgaard with a lot of pace as well. And then, of course, Foot Sheriff did not tweet this out himself, but it's on the loading screen. That card all the way over there on the right is Rafael Liao. Now, what makes this promo hype today? Yes, are the names, right? And it looks like off the, you know, the loading screen, it looks like they're juicing the cards pretty well because if Rafael Liao is position changed to striker with 96 pace, I mean, that is a... Solid upgrade over his 93 play paced player of the month. He might be one of the top, top cards in this promo. So you're looking at the Jude Bellingham stats as well. Solid upgrades, it looks like. Militao only with plus one pace, but EA can't get things too meta, right? I mean, we're still a month away, month and a half away from team of the year. So I think these cards look pretty good today. They've chosen some big name players, and that's why there's a lot of hype riding on the promo today. Now, also today, we have the icon to their impacts. Um, the loading screen from a couple days ago showed Garincha. I still believe that card in the middle is Cannavaro and that EA messed up the rating. And then I'm not sure the card on the right is. But like we've said, the icons that are going to be in the game today, if you kind of look up on the market, you can just kind of search for icons that have four different versions searchable. Like Lothar has got four, right? You know, 92 rated Lothar. Um, and, you know, he's probably going to be in packs today or in the mini release on Sunday. So Team 3 and the rest of those World Cup icons should be dropping on the day. Like we said, um, that SBC for Frimpong, that could be our player SBC today. That seems like a little bit of a letdown, if I'm being completely honest. But the Friday, the Friday card SBCs haven't been that fantastic in the past couple of promos. So that might either be today on Friday or tomorrow on Saturday. And then in the objective, of course, we had the leak for Jonathan David. So watch out uh, for that card there. And then, speaking of content that's going to drop today... More swap tokens will be, in my opinion, based off the pack code that we have added, I think they're going to drop more swap tokens in the store. We have two packs that were added to the code yesterday. A FIFA World Cup Phenoms pack, which contains, as you see here at the beginning, one World Cup swap token. And there's another one that's also World Cup Phenoms, but it's evidently a different pack. Got 20 rare gold players, 85 or higher, and then also has a swap token in it as well. So probably one today, one tomorrow, something along those lines. But... That'll take us up to 54, 54 swap tokens in total um, after they drop those two more in the store. And it just seemed like they weren't going to add any more in objectives. Maybe, just maybe they're going to add a couple more in objectives 
um, today, maybe tomorrow. I'd watch out for that. We're still looking for that 60 number. Is it going to be the right number? EA said on the on the loading screen, like in the game, that all of the objective tokens have been released. The final group of World Cup swaps objectives are live. So does that mean no more entirely in objectives or just for the gold and gold ones? I don't know. So we are at 52 tokens right now, I believe. And that, those two in the store this weekend should take us up to 54 for those that are trying to figure out the biggest and best grind for your swap tokens, uh, which a lot of people will be definitely opening, opening 84 times 20s today, which if I were you personally, I'm going to do an 84 times 20 as well, but I think I'm going to wait and not open it today. I'm going to wait for the mini release because of course, some of these cards that we looked at in the leaks, probably a couple of them will not be dropped in the game today. Like maybe EA would hold back I don't know, maybe like Dan James, Saka, and um, I don't know, maybe like Lautaro Martinez or something and do like 12 or 13 players in packs today and then three in the mini release on Saturday. That might be something that they go ahead and do. Now, also in the pack code, you guys definitely want to hear about this and see this. FIFA World Cup Hero Pack has been added into the code. And this has got a lot of people freaking out, a lot of people panicking. I've seen some hero card prices, the World Cup versions that have gone down because of this. I really don't think that this is going to be dropped in the game today. I would be a little surprised if it is uh, because we have another SPC that's refreshing, the 87 plus base or mid icon. I feel like this might be our upgrade pack on, you guessed it, Monday. So we'll keep a close eye on that. But you know, with these uh, hero packs, EA has been a little bit shaky before in the future. We'll see if they do anything nuts today with those. Also a quarterfinals nation pack, which is kind of cool featuring all the clubs uh, or not the clubs, the nations that are in the quarterfinals of the World Cup and a winter warm up pack, which does not uh, contain a swap token, but it contains 20 rare players, 184 plus. So, uh, and then a winter recruits pack containing 20 rare gold players. So those to me just sound like packs that EA are going to put in the store to try to get people to gamble on with FIFA points or with coins. Now let's talk about the market because what is going to happen on the market today with all this stuff dropping, I think there is going to be some panic selling heading into the content drop today because with all the big name players that we have, all the people that have maybe invested in cards that are trying to get them out before the promo Friday, afraid to lose coins. I mean, case in point is right here with this Marquisio World Cup hero. He was 1.6 mil. Yes, 1.6 million coins to start the day yesterday. And right now, he is around 1.38, 1.35. He is down a ton because of that pack that was added to the code. And I think some big center mids like Jude coming tomorrow, Pedri coming tomorrow. People might be just worried that his price is probably way too high in the first place and they're selling him. I also think that just kind of the rest of the market would probably take a bit of a hit, especially on center backs, top tier center backs, top tier midfielders. I mean, you look at those leaks, right? You've got a Kunde, a Militao. Um, you've got a lot of great center backs. Lissandro Martinez, if he's in packs today, if all those guys are in packs today, people are going to want to swap out some of those top tier center backs in their team and replace them with one of the new uh, brand new promo cards. I think that is part of the market that I watched today, but just in general, um, you know, we usually look at a card like Mbappe to kind of judge where the market's at right now. And Mbappe, I believe, was 1.05, 1.06 yesterday. Wednesday, he was around 1.06 as well. So he's down like a little bit. There might be some panic selling on a golden Mbappe. He's, of course, going to be in packs today. I would expect with still lightning rounds happening in the store, a lot of your golds, you know, Neymar is going to be in packs today. VVD will come back into packs after being out. Ronaldo, Messi, uh, all these guys that still, gold cards that still have value, I would expect to see them drop in value uh, today with people opening store packs with coins. It's going to drain coins off the market. People doing that 87 plus hero SBC as it refreshes and uh, I just think that's going to take some coins off of the market personally. Now, at the same time, people are going to be opening packs with FIFA points and that brings coins to the market. So I do think there will be some fluctuations today that will be very, very good to trade in. Watch the panic selling on some of these top tier hero cards. Um, you know, maybe even Yaya Toure, a card like that, if you want to snag him for your team, watch out for panic selling there today. I just feel like today might be one of those days where you see some cards drop in value just because there's so many new and cool cards come into the game like all of these that people would want to sell a card that they have to go and try out now also the other aspect of this is it all comes down to the price of these new cards as well is the design loaded in here it is world cup phenoms it's already in the, in the transfer market search if the cards that come out today are very very expensive it all depends on pack weight and the stat boosts but since these cards look really hyped if they come out today and they're very expensive then i think some of your low tier cards maybe from the 
uh, World Cup Stories promo. Maybe a Giroud, maybe a Rabio could rebound back up a little bit. And some of the rest of the market in terms of out-of-packs cards that are panic sold today could rebound back up a bit. But uh, that's what it comes down to today is how cheap are these cards? If the new um, uh, Genduzi comes out and it's like less than 150K in the first hour, then I would absolutely think that the Rabio card would probably drop off a little bit more in price depending on the stats and depending how good the new card looks for Genduzi. But, you know, it's kind of that substitution type of car that's coming into the game. The substitution for Rabio would be the new Genduzi type of thing. So the substitution for Giroud would probably be uh, Lautaro Martinez if he's in packs today. So that's the kind of stuff I'd watch out for. But it, again, like I said, it all comes down to the prices of these cards. And we'll get a good aspect of that and gauge of that in the first hour when they're in packs. Because if they start off really, really cheap, people will go and sell more cards to try the new ones. And that'll cause some fluctuations with the brand new cards, um, which they'll be great to trade with today. Any of the new promo cards, if you guys like first hour flipping, you guys like trading with these cards as they get put on the market, they're going to be unbelievable to trade with today. I, I do believe so. Now also it comes down to pack weight, 11% from 125k pack um, for the World Cups, um, whatever they're called, World Cup stories players, which that's actually not a bad pack weight. A lot of you guys have been like, Nate, where have these guys been in packs for the past week? They haven't been in packs. But based on the pack percentage in the store, it's actually not that terrible. I'll be curious to see how the pack weight is today for these cards, because again, it's very hyped. A lot of great cards coming out, big names. So that is really what I think is going to have the biggest impact on the market today. If a lot of the new promo cards are less than like, let's say, I don't know, three to 400,000 coins, I think that's going to take a lot of your other cards in the market that are around the 500K range or maybe that three to 500K range and drop them down as people sell to go try out those new cards. So that's the biggest part of the market that I'm very interested to see today. One thing you might note is there's no leaked left backs. That's one thing that I always try to look out for when I'm trying to trade in a market or thinking of like, should I sell this card for my team because it could have dropped today? There were no leaked left backs. So for a card like this Roberto Carlos that is actually a little bit low at the moment, 6'10", 595, that's really low for him. Unless there's a leak that I don't know about or something like, this card is pretty low and there's no new left backs and there's even a couple Brazilian players coming into the promo today. So that's a card I'd maybe look out for. I thought about this Alfonso Davies uh, and we can talk about this for a second, investing in the World Cup Stories cards. Alfonso Davies is what, like 230-ish, 238? Um, you know, the one thing I really look for in these World Cup Stories and, and when I ever try to invest in a card that is going to be going out of packs, I look for the hype in terms of games played. And just looking at where that card fits into a certain league, to a certain team, right? You know that team links are so big this year, but it might surprise you. I just looked around this team for a quick second. The most used card out of this promo team is Gareth Bale, 51,000 games. This is something we talk about this often, but this is stuff that I look for. I mean, I wouldn't be against throwing a, a Gareth Bale on a transfer list. I think there's a lot of right wings that are coming out today, of course, like the Dan James, the Kubo. Uh, and the Rodrigo that might hurt his price a bit. But the fact that he was used so much is kind of crazy to me, even with the links that he has. Uh, but Danny Alves, I think, will end up being a nice card. Maybe gets panicked if um, Hakimi is cheap, but I feel like Hakimi is like a 600K card. So we'll just see there. Uh, the Davies card is interesting to me. Rabio is still interesting to me. If like Genduzi comes out today, or um, wow, we have Kamavinga coming out today too. If those cards are both out in the game today and they're like 250K plus for whatever reason, then I think this again, Doozy could have some uh, potential to rise back up. But, you know, Bruno, I think, is a really rare card, could rise. If you take a look back, actually, at the Road to the World Cup team from Black Friday, the cards that rose up the most out of packs were some of your big links from big clubs, right? Ben White was like 70K, now he's 113. Son is up like 100K. Modric is up uh, like, what, 40, 50,000 coins. Marquinhos is up a lot. Nunez is up a lot. I mean, I think that's just Portugal links in the Prem, of course. The Wijnaldum had a really nice rise there. So, I feel like there are cards from the World Cup Stories promo that can go up. Uh, Asenjo was one. Bruno was one. I think Richarlison's a bit too expensive, but, you know, Brazil hype, who knows? Rashford, again, same thing, a little expensive, but who knows? So you just have to monitor these cards today. I think you can wait till after content if you want to make an investment in those. Based off, you see how cheap the cards are from the World Cup Phenoms. I think you'll be able to decide then on what you want. Now, let's talk about SBC Fodder, and this is interesting today because I said earlier in the week that it was going to be Thursday when it refreshed, but evidently when the timer was on this SBC earlier in the week, it was like three days, 23 hours, not like three days as in they were rounding up, right? No, EA doesn't do that, I guess. So this SBC is coming back today 
And this SBC coming back today means there's going to be demand for fodder. This might be the best SBC in the game in, this, in the store refreshing today. People are going to see it again. And people love these gamble packs more than ever, right? They love it more than ever. So that's why I would want to watch fodder today. Fodder did amazing earlier in the week. I know a lot of you guys profited off of that. You guys were buying 85s at like low 7K range. They went up to almost 10K, right? They're back down at eight. Or you look at uh, 88s that were like 30K. They're not down that much. 89s are not down that much, but 87s are like 22, 23. Um, I believe 91s were at 60K or a little above. So with the SBC refreshing today, I think that that's going to be the most hyped SBC in the store unless EA drop like something crazy, which I wouldn't really expect. Fridays are all about packs, right? It's all about opening the packs, spending the FIBA points, trying out the new cards for, for, for EA. That's where it's at. So I'm not expecting that hero SBC today. If they did that, that'd be nuts. But uh, I do expect people to want to do this. So if fodder goes slow either before the content drop, because there's not a lot of saved up packs today, let's be honest. Um, I would watch for maybe prices like people opening their weekendly rewards, which I wouldn't imagine too many people would. But if there's any sell off before 6 p.m. content today on some of those fodder cards or maybe during the first hour, first 15 to 20 minutes as you look through fodder cards, I think there will be an opportunity to invest, make a quick buy and then have these cards rise up in price because people are going out and doing that SBC. So keep a close eye on the 85s all the way to the 91s today because I think that SBC will be one that people want to do and take a gamble on since it's not that expensive. Um, and people are going to open 8420s today. I mean, they're just it's just the way it's going to happen. People open and, and save up packs for today. There's also 81 plus, uh, 80 plus upgrades that you could craft for today as well. So if you want to stack a couple of these and then uh, see if you can test your luck with the new promo cards, that's something a lot of people are going to do today as well. So they're going to have dupes. They're going to have fodder. They're going to go do SBCs because of that. So watch the fodder market today as well. It's going to be a very, very interesting day. Like I talked about, it all comes down to how expensive these cards are or how cheap they are. Because again, if they're super duper cheap, then people are going to sell their teams to go get these new cards. Um, and you know, I think the cards that I'd be maybe the most careful with today would be some of these like older promo cards that are going to get pushed more behind the curve. This is a day that like pushes some of these cards like a PK. He's going to get pushed behind the curve today, right? I mean, yes, you've got a couple Barcelona links dropping in this promo potentially. Still 230k for this card, but there's going to be two new uh, two new La Liga center backs dropping in the game today. And if if they're anywhere near like 300,000 coins, both of them or either of them, which I think Militao will be more expensive, but Kunde might be like 300, 400k, then you see this guy drop off. That's I think it's I'm worried about more the road to the knockouts, the um rule breakers cards um those out of position cards maybe the ones that are not super duper cheap so those are the ones i'm a little bit worried about today i could see them dropping off and again golds for sure i absolutely believe that golds will drop off today and i think yes you'll see a market bounce back i think the low time for a lot of these golds i'm just going to go out and say this i think it's going to be in the middle of the world cup game or maybe like right after the world cup game because a lot of people are going to get off of fifa to go watch the world cup game that second game today netherlands argentina big game right not saying that brazil croatia is not it is but both of these big games today i think are going to pull people a little away from fifa and the and the uh, netherlands argentina game happens after the content drop so i think you're going to have a low point on the market maybe a little bit earlier than normal as people maybe get back on fifa after the world cup game and then go and play some weekend league or whatever it may be i know that's kind of late um hours in over in like the uk and stuff but you know that just might be where things are at today and of course the, the game has been a bit quiet in general so if ea don't hit us with something sick today or people don't feel like they have a lot of fun for whatever reason with the content that's dropped and they say oh it's just packs or whatever then that could pull some demand away from the game as well so i'm not expecting a huge market rise on everything but i am expecting some panic selling and a lot of people to be interested in the brand new cards that are going to be dropped on this game Today. So that's going to be the video for me. As I said, not entirely sure if I'll be able to stream today. We'll uh, keep you guys updated on Twitter. If you don't have my link, check the link down below in the description. Make sure to catch a follow there. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you're hyped for the World Cup promo, hit the thumbs up. Comment down below if you do have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Vote Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.